Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles X, where we have just gotten our hands on mechanical skill level 5, and I want to go make use of it. So, for starters, let's go plant all the probes we couldn't plant before, which will hopefully uh, let us connect everything to Frontier Nav, because uh, there are some segments or some probes that don't connect to the greater web of probes. And I imagine if we can connect everything, then we'll have more options for gaining money and other stuff. So for starters, let's go ahead and drop a probe here. Wow, that, uh, that was one button press. I did it on the move, too. Alright, next stop is Northwest Primordia. So let's head over there. And then we go this way a ways. And that's our target right there. Wow, yeah, that's... I guess now that we've got level 5 mechanical, we can just pop them open like that. Like it's nothing. And now we want to go to uh, Far North Silvalope. Not Silvalum, uh, Noctilum. And apparently there are a couple tyrants up here that I've got some info for. This place looks kind of interesting under the rain. Makes these giant roots not seem so red. Yay. So if I go this way, apparently there's a tyrant bladder named Joker. Let's see if we can find that. Appears always, so... If we can't find it, then we're just not looking in the right place. Maybe it's on top of this. What is this? Ooh, there's one of those. That's not what we're looking for. Yeah, that's just a regular old Levitath. Let's go further up. See what, if anything, is up here. Ooh, we can go down into it. Oh! Oh! Uh, that's level 90. It may be a bladder, but... Actually, let's just see what we can do to it. Oh, wow, that's level 90, but it's going to die. Well, we, we missed, but as long as we can hit it again, this will be no problem. There. Hooray, we killed a level 90 tyrant. Okay, now let's head north, because there's another tyrant we've got info for. And this one also appears always. And its name is Telethia the Endbringer. So, you know, it... It's got to be a pleasant customer. Is this it on my minimap? This red dot? No, that's out of the... Huh, wonder where it is. Is that it? That seems bigger than Joker, so... It's probably going to take a bit more to bring down. Let's just see how dead we get. Come on. 
back here, Telethia. I need you to bring me an end. No, I don't. I just want to see what I can do against you. Come on. Get close enough to fire. I can fire this off. No, I can't. Dang it. Got too far. Let's see if we can head this thing off at the pass. Come on, come on. Beat it there. See ya. Gotcha. Well, that'll hit eventually. Looks like <laughs> it's actually lagging behind. I don't think it'll actually ever hit. So I'll just uh, kind of move over here. This should be an intercept path. Let's zoom the camera out so we're not looking at our friend's skills crotch. And yeah, that's an intercept right there. Let's impair them as a little warm up. Okay. Okay, we are doing miss damage. Let's just run. Could this be the power up button? Just gonna watch. Oh yeah, they got one shot. Running is the thing to do. It was uh worth investing. Ooh. You are a tyrant. And I can probably kill you. I've killed your kind before. So let's open up with Dragon's Maw. All right, this is going to take some doing, but some doing is something we can do. I would bind. Actually, I will bind it. Even though I can't auto attack while binding it, this does help my cooldowns. And also my fuel, apparently. I do like that it helps the fuel. Should have done that from somewhere other than the side, but whatever. All right, this is what I wanted to see. All right, your face appears to be the only break left. And now it isn't. All right. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, I need to not miss. The, the. Come on, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. One more solid hit. Don't drop combat. Don't drop combat. Damn it. Well, if my friends had skills for that, we would have had it easy. So let's actually go back to the Blade Barracks and get our skills. Because if I can kill it, I want to kill it. Because it's a really big tyrant. And we got actually really close to killing it. <laughs> if I hadn't interrupted my auto attack with some things at certain points there, we probably actually would have killed it with just our skill. So yeah, let's get back up there. Okay, there's the skill. And off we go to find that Levitath again. Thankfully, they're very large and hard to miss. I want to uh, target your back. I don't know why your back specifically. I guess because it just feels right to go for it first. Back 
under it. They are terrible at binding large things. All right. Brave got this easy this time. Okay, next up, back. Someone is almost out of fuel. Alright. One more shot, come on. There we go. Alright. Now, I do recall there being a level 5 mechanical treasure box in southern Noctilum, so I'm going to go get my hands on that, because I want it. So, we drop down here, and then through this little cave. You will find it. But we have to get out of our skills to go in. Yay! That was, uh... It had a file, so there's that. Because other than the file, it wasn't anything particularly nice. And this is a Z-Dom. I know it completely wrecked us in the past, but this doesn't seem too terribly large. We might be able to deal with it. Especially if we get an early cockpit mode. Okay, that was a miss. Looks like it is destroying their skills. And mine as well. Okay. So, the guardian deity is still beyond us. And yet it didn't do as much damage to me on foot as it did to me in my skill. Problem is, we can't fight that on foot because there's no ground to stand on. Well, let's head on back to the Blade Barracks once more. Get our skills back and then we'll go plant some more probes. And I've actually got some Meranium, so... Let's, uh, give this jerk some more fuel. Don't want them running out on me. And yeah, I know that'll make me take longer to... fully get the, uh... six stars upgraded, but... It, what's one more Meranium delivery, huh? Okay, so in Silvalum there is there are two mechanical five probe sites, but there was also a mechanical five treasure box, and that's what I'm going for first here. Cause I would love to see its contents. And I also recall a mechanical five treasure box in Caldros. So, is this the treasure box that I'm seeing on my map right now? Probably not, considering that I only just discovered this area. Archaeological 4. Still nice. Ooh, that attribute damage thing might be pretty nice for us because our skill does a lot of thermal stuff right now. I don't care about no Vulcan launcher zig. That is a level 90 Z-Dom. 92. That is a bit beyond us. Even with our improved stuff. And this is another different treasure box. But I'll see if I can't open it. I can. 
And it looks like directly above us, there's yet another treasure box. Might as well investigate that. Oh, hey. Looks like this treasure box is guarded. Alright, and you will also uh, taste numbers. Alright, let's see if we can't open this. We can. I really should have taken note of exactly where that level 5 mechanical box was, but as long as we keep finding stuff, I don't mind searching. It's searching without finding stuff that I don't appreciate. Oh, I think this was it. Yeah, this looks like it was probably it. Yep, that was it. It interests me that it takes fewer button presses to open a level 5 than it does a level 4. Or wait, no, those were not mechanical. Those were archaeological for, so I guess I can't make a direct comparison. Oh, hang on. Treasure box. Archaeological. Okay. There's another treasure box nearby. There it is. And there we are. Now onward to... Apparently another treasure box. Oh, it's bio. Can we open it? We can. I mean, I guess we can open most bio boxes, but they are the ones we are least likely to be able to open. At least as we are now. Hooray! Now... Ooh, there's a mechanical three treasure and a bio three treasure over at the sand sea. So let's actually head over there, see if we can't find those. Because I would like to. So, there's actually a treasure box this way. Looks like that's probably the mechanical three one. Oh, that's mechanical two. Okay, so we open all mechanical things fast now. That's nice. All right, so maybe this will be the bio thing for the segment recon. Yeah, probably. Yep. Okay, heading further north for the mechanical thing. Because mechanical things often have nice things inside of them. Is it hiding in here? Yep, looks like it. Sorry, Sandcaro, you're gonna get blasted. Okay. More mining probes. Not my favorite kind of probe, but they are nice. Now let's go plant the final probe here in Silvalum. And there it goes. Hooray! Does that mean that I've installed every probe? Now there's a tyrant who wanders around up here that... There he is. I bet we can kill him now. He's caused me some troubles in my past. So I want to trouble him. Hopefully before he meets up with his buddy over there. Leave it to me. 
Okay. I feel like it's actually important to break the uh, trees on its back because they seem to let it charge up and do some giant beam attack that does massive damage. And I don't like taking massive damage. I prefer to deal it. So now let's kill the vegetation on its butt, apparently. Looks like it can still do some kind of beam without its back vegetation. But that's okay, because it's dead now. Hooray, I classed up. Unfortunately, I still need to class up several more times. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at Caldros. Yeah, we are done with probes. Completely. Everywhere. But, there's still a treasure that is Mechanical 5 that I know where it is in Caldros. So, I'm going to grab that, because I want it probably got nice things in it and it's right over here hooray so got some credits got a file Got an attribute resistance probe. By the way, I've got three linked fuel up probes in Caldros, and even if I'm sitting in an area where it's got an S rank for combat support probes, I get. I, I don't get any visible returns. Like, I cannot tell that there is any difference whatsoever in the efficacy of my fuel recovery. Oh, I'm missing the required members, but do I have the affinity with them? I don't think I've got two hearts. Let's find out. No, that's not what I want. I want this. No, I don't even have one heart. Well, whatever. Let's check the quest board, shall we? Okay. 7,000 units of Meranium is easy-peasy. Eh, uh, sure. Alright. Okay. Don't have that. Alright, what else is there? Well, got that. And I got that. Hooray, we did a thing. Hooray, we did a thing. Let's check our affinity with the people we've got with us right now. I feel like I'm probably doing decently well. Two hearts with Celica, we need three. Two hearts with Nagi, again, we need three. And almost two hearts with Boze. Actually, I think one might be all we needed. Let me go check, because there was a Boze affinity mission over this way. It was right over here. No, we needed two hearts and we're almost there. So close. Lobster! Why, we've hardly got any lobsters left to find. Just lobster! Just flying around down here because I bet there's lobsters. I 
bet there's lobsters everywhere. I'm actually kind of amazed that New LA is big enough that they can hide 99 lobsters and not have them be so packed together. It's... I mean, like, as far as cities go, it's not very big at all, but as far as in-game locations go, it's surprisingly large. Anyway, we've got business on the man on ship, so let's just fly up there. Okay, let's start off going this way, because I think we've got business on both sides, probably. Let's just find oh, out, yeah. and let's zoom on in. Yes. So... Anything? Well, there's some info, so we are clearly not done with all info forever. There's a lobster! How do we get to it? Uh, like that, but better. Is the person we needed to talk to on the other side? I guess they must be. But there's a lobster. And I want it. So I'm gonna get that lobster. And it will become mine! Okay. Heading on over to the yes. other side. Hey, yeah. All right. So let's see who we got over here. Hey. Well, we've got a few quests Listen. and some info. And more info. And more info. Hmm. Uh, so I guess the person we need to talk to is actually down below. Let's look around the upper level first. Listen. Because the upper level here... Listen. Seems to have info. At least from what we've seen so far. Looks like it might also... Ooh, oh, info. Well. Okay, is that it? Or do I need to actually talk to one of you? Because... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, everything must be down below. Just close enough in elevation that it doesn't thing. Hello, Orphean. Okay. Alright. There you go. And now I'm thinking that the thing they wanted me to talk to in the man on ship for the plant raising was probably an Orphean. I'm gonna continue just looking along all the sides of everything because this ship seems rife with info. Okay, looks like no more info on that side. More info here. And here. And then a quest. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hmm.
Okay. All right. Probably. Oh, I actually have to go find it. Hooray! We did a quest that does literally nothing other than tell me where to find a quest. All right. So I guess we're asking you about how to grow plants. Are you a botanist? Uh-huh. I'm... I'm a guy. Gnarl branch sap, huh? Alright. Okay. Sounds good. And there was another quest... Where was it? Here, huh? What's up? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. I don't even know either of them. choose? Well, let's do the second one, because she's of demure nature, and you find her dear, and such women are rare among prone. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Okay. Kind of feel bad for uh, making a choice like that without knowing either of them or talking to either of them. This knowledge but I guess I can go on over there. Hang on, there's another mission in this area. Where is Nanseleg? there. Oh, we already talked to you and got the mission. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we want to go to the starboard side now. And there's the prone to whom we are meant to talk. Yes, he does. Nope. Hmm. Well, it's your lucky day. It is. Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I guess we don't have them yet. So, is there anything down below in here that we missed? Yes, I spy some info. Okay. Looks like 
Nothing that will help. More info. All right, just uh, gonna complete the rounds here. All right, looks like that is everything to be found on this side of the ship. And I'm gonna go ahead and just head on down to the administrative district just because I feel more comfortable down there. Okay. Well, that is actually going to be it for this episode, looking at the time. So join us next time when we uh, continue doing more quests. See you then, friends.